As you can see the Jaguar is looking superb as she's making her way out to not one but two car events this weekend and I thought I'd bring you guys along with me. The first one is a slightly smaller local car meet organised by a local car uh, group of enthusiasts and then the second one is a much bigger event at Helmingham Hall which is a big stately home, some beautiful grounds to park the car up in and have a look at an incredible array of mainly classic but also um, performance orientated cars as well and I thought I would kind of capture um, what we get to see um, and uh, some of the reactions to the Jaguar. So I've done a lot of the prep already. Um, there was a few surface scratches to take out, so I used a more aggressive kind of cutting compound. You've got to be careful when you use these because you will really flatten the paint back. You'll take all of the previous products and the protection on there. This is very undiscriminatory. Um, in, in what it kind of um, takes off so it really strips um, everything on the paintwork back but if you've got those deeper scratches like I did on the near side um, then I use uh, an actual uh, harsher cutting compound um, and then I used a kind of a, a generic um, polish so this one is actually a polish and wax but I use it for its polish properties this one is by Turtle Wax um, but there's, there's loads of great polishes out there the longest running product that I've used, um, going right back to my Mazda RX-8, which was the first car I bought myself, is the Autoblim Super Re uh, Resin Polish. I use this mainly on windows now. I find, I find out by accident that it works brilliantly on glass. Put it on both sides of uh, the windscreen or um, the, the driver's side uh, window, um, leave it for a few minutes and take it off, and it is absolutely superb. Far better than using any sort of window spray, even automotive window spray. Polish works brilliantly. A bit more work maybe, but it pays off in terms of that clarity in the glass. And then finally, I still love a traditional wax. So this is that Canuba, I never know quite how you pronounce that, Carbonara Canuba wax. Um, again, made by Turtle Wax, I'm not endorsed or paid by Turtle Wax. Um, a lot of people just opt for the really trendy kind of Instagram promoted um, ceramic based products now but I love wax. I love, I love paintwork, that's why I've never understood wraps. Um, I love the paintwork and I love the feeling um, that the, just a nice uh, layer of wax gives you. Uh, brilliant protection from chemicals and, and UV light, so I'm still using an old fashioned wax and the results are absolutely brilliant. Um, comes off really easily. If you did transfer a little bit onto the kind of like black trim and rubber, again, it just takes it off, it, it, it comes off very quickly does not stain at all. So a little bit of an update on the exhaust. I didn't want this to be kind of a clickbaity, I've got an army trick uh, straight pipe exhaust. Um, on the Jaguar XKRs, um, the exhausts are pretty unrestricted anyway, because they are more kind of sport and performance orientated cars. The XKRs have got pre-cats on the cross section. Um, the XKRs and the XKRSs have got obviously cats, quite high flow cats on the downpipes. They're still in place, um, but there was a cross section on the center pipe of the exhaust that I had a feeling was a little bit restricted. So I've got it here. What I did was got that replaced. So I took it to a small independent garage uh, I knew this guy's kind of portfolio of work, so I went to him and I got this cross section. So on the mid pipe, coming from the front of the car, um, you have a cross section and then these run to the back boxes. Again, the back boxes really aren't too uh, restrictive. The XKRs have more of a resonator uh, internals to the XKRSs. If I wanted to replace the back box on this, I was looking at about sort of 800 plus for a bespoke one to be made. There are options online again, but I was going to be spending a lot and not get too many returns. I just wanted to kind of unlock a little bit more ground. So this is the cross section that I've had replaced with just a custom made one, um, which, which looks really good and has given me some improvements. A little bit more growl, uh, a little bit more raw, kind of in the mid to high rev ranges. Cold start um, is a little bit more um, growly as well and it's just unlocked a little bit of noise that I wanted. So 
as you can see, there's this large void in the X pipe, which provides a very large cross-sectional area and isn't very prescriptive in terms of where it actually funnels the exhaust gases. So the one that we've replaced it with has unlocked a little bit of growl um, and I think has been designed to funnel those exhaust gases a little bit more efficiently and it's definitely unlocked a really nice raw um, without adding any sort of drone at highway speeds or anything silly like that. So if you are wanting to unlock a bit of your car on the um, 4.2 or 5 litres, um, a bespoke option, actually having um, something fabricated for, for your car individually might be better than the very costly um, online options, but it's definitely something that I'm very pleased um, that I've done. So um, the Jaguar has got a few more bits done to it. I just need to apply some tyre blackener and then it will be show ready. We'll get the cover off and uh, head down to this first car meet. Let's do it. <music> generic extra large um, car cover uh, indoors you can see from the little bits of sort of brick dust and wood because my ceiling is actually uh, kind of an unsealed unfinished wood that those kind of little bits those kind of flakes of um, wood can get on your paint that's fine if you're just going to then wash it but if you put it away with the intention of then correcting the paint as soon as you put that machine polish over it you're going to pick up those scratches and that's when you see those swell marks certainly on black paintwork um, because people have actually detailed um, paintwork that hasn't been cleaned dried and then also potentially clay barred properly in preparation for that so that's incredibly important <music> Again, a product I've been using for a long time by Autoglim. Um, I'll just use an applicator pad that you can reuse, doesn't matter if it gets grubby. A little bit on there, kind of saturate it, and then apply it evenly around the tyre. And depending on how many passes you make, kind of determines how much of the product stays on there and how much you take off. So once all four wheels were done, I wanted to get the driver's foot mat looking like the passengers as you saw in the intro. And this one is quite grubby, so I generally give it a good brush down and then I brush all of the pile one way. So I can put in the stripes going the opposite way. So I tend to use something like a nail brush as you can see here, but you can buy specialist brushes for this and basically lay the pile down the opposite direction to the majority of the mat, uh, putting in the stripes. Now some people like larger stripes, um, I tend to like smaller stripes um, with a similar sized gap, um, tends to amount to five or six stripes in one foot mat, um, and then that is done. As you can see, um, looks much smarter. Um, there is a little bit of a dent there as you can see where my foot rests but overall in the car look that looks pretty good. Oh yes so I am currently editing a video on all of the kit that I use for the channel so that might be an interesting video coming soon um, with all the equipment that I use to get the results that you see on the videos. Most of it's on a budget so that might be an interesting insight into how I get the effects and results that you see on the videos. So on to what I'm wearing this weekend for this morning's meet. It's fairly overcast so I'm going for the Sergio Ticini uh, casual track top um, and then probably pair that with a contrasting um, pink or perhaps the blue polo shirt just so you'll be able to see the collar um, and the collar of the track top with a pair of jeans and then I think I'm going to go for the lovely Adidas Gazelle um, again very casual trainer for Helmingham Hall tomorrow I think I'm going to go for something a little bit smarter given the the setting and the vibe so I'll probably go for a long sleeve top again 
it's not going to be particularly warm, um, around 20 degrees. So this is an Antonio Bellini um, top, which is a, a local brand um, to me. Uh, he makes all of his clothes in Italy with really, really nice materials um, and then brings them over here. Lovely fit, really nice finish. So I think I'll probably pair the blue check with something like the navy blue shorts that I've got ironed and ready. In terms of shoes for that, I'll probably go for, again, something fairly smart, either something like the boat shoe, um, which some of you will cringe at, or something just a bit plainer and smarter to finish off the look. Right, let's get dressed and down to the uh, local car meet. So this is a local car enthusiast group that I have been part of for a while. Um, they have a variety of different meets with a, a great array of different cars. So we're going to head down. We've got Andy in his Z4N behind us, always kept immaculate. Um, we're now on our way, so we will see um, what turns up. No, it's not the words of your choice. It's the sound of my voice. I'm an animal. Those toys really know how to play In the meantime, stop being mean all the time Do you know what I mean, man? Yeah, this party might or might not be bouncing But the lyrics are clean and you lean on my bed Cause you want something mm. Regularly acting the fool it's not really moves, yeah, but you're cool, but the mirror you look is a tool And a double-edged weapon, a double-edged weapon I let my ego kill myself so we both die Well, I survived, you've heard it many times Same song along the line It shines without a lie Just had something to eat and drink next to this lovely Porsche Cayman is this stunning McLaren 650S. Just look at this interior. This is owned by Simon, one of the guys that heads up the group that is hosting this meet. Ceramic brakes, quad exhausts, looks brilliant in this black paintwork. And then next to that we've got a good friend of mine, Chris's W204 C63 AMG. Uh, exhaust, uh, fully remapped, quake diff, absolutely brilliant fun. Do you know what I mean, man? Yeah, this party might or might not be bouncing. But the lyrics are clean and you lean on my bed, cause you want something. Mm. Hey, what an absolutely brilliant car, me. Huge selection. Um, whole variety of different cars, old and new, high performance, um, some old classics as well, um, absolutely brilliant. So we are heading home, uh, we'll put the car away ready for tomorrow um, for the Helmingham Hall Show.